I made up my mind that even if nobody was going to show up, I was prepared to go alone. And I wasn't expecting that number of people out there, one. Two was that um, I was also humbled by the fact that many people who came out there, even in the rains, stood in the rains and protested. And even with the police intimidation, they were not perturbed. They decided that, look, uh, you can, the police can bring out their water guns, their uh, huge armor vehicles, and what have you. We weren't going to budge. Until we finish with what we set out to do, until we submit our petition, and make our case known. What really is happening at the moment? The police are preventing us from exercising our constitutional right uh -huh. to protest. Uh -huh. And we are improvising, that is all. So what, what, what will be the way for I can't, I, I can't tell you. you the details of it right now. Because most of the people who came out there were, um, as they would call it, um, middle class people. People who were okay, they, could, they can be comfortable in their houses and all of that. But these were people who came out there to protest. So people that you ordinarily wouldn't expect them to be out there on the street protesting came out. So that, for me, marked a new age of um, citizens demanding accountability from government. And then also we know for a fact that um, uh, the then president, um, John Mahama, uh, used to scare his ministers and his government appointees with Occupy, that, hey, if you don't do it, Occupy will come after you. Mm -hmm. And you would notice that immediately after the protest, government responded. Mm -hmm. Government responded um, through a series of, through a series of um, press conferences, press engagements, trying to address the issues we had raised in our petition. And so it started a new discourse, a new engagement altogether. And I think that it was worth it. That protest was worth it. I don't know what the future holds, but I do know one thing for sure, which is that I'm not going to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop demanding accountability from government. I'm not going to stop um, fighting for social justice and social accountability. I'm not going to stop fighting corruption. I'm not going to um, stop um, advocating for good governance. Because for me, the whole motivation is that um, there is an inextricable link between good governance and happiness. So if the people are happy, it would depend on how well they are being governed. And good governance would also mean the fight against corruption.